Hello everybody, my name is Dan Bigman and I am the founder of LearnGPR.com and I'm coming at you today with another video about high pass and low pass filters for your ground penetrating radar data and what do they do? All right, so high and low pass filters and what do they do? Well, <clears throat> This, we're going to take a step back first and talk about antenna frequency. Now, when I talk to most people, they tell me that their antenna has, you know, is a 400 megahertz antenna frequency, or a 250 megahertz antenna frequency, or a 1,000 megahertz antenna frequency. But the truth is, that's what we call the center frequency. Whatever your manufacturer told you the frequency was, it's only the center frequency of your GPR antenna. And so in reality, it puts out a signal and it looks something more, the distribution of frequencies looks something more like this. All right. All right, so this axis is frequency. That's OB. Frequency. Here would be low, here is high, and here, let's say, is your actual frequency. So let's say it's a 400 megahertz antenna. It actually sends out or receives a distribution of frequencies, okay? It receives a distribution of frequencies, not just your frequency. This is the center frequency, but a 400 megahertz antenna may range, you know, up to, I don't know, six to 700 and maybe as low as, uh, uh, you know, one to 200, okay, megahertz. So the 400 is the center frequency and kind of plus minus a few um, is this bell curve, right? That's this distribution here. So most of it is coming under, you know, plus or minus 100 megahertz, okay? So where most of it's coming, but some response that the GPR gets in will actually be at the higher end and some will be at the lower end, all right? So there is an actual distribution of your frequency. Now this is important because if you're using a center frequency of 400, you obviously want to be using it in a specific way for a specific purpose. And what tends to happen is if you can just get this piece right here your data would be cleaned up. But sometimes you get instrument drift, which happens generally in the high end. Okay, your instrument will drift over time in its responses. There may be background noise, which a lot of times will be at this low end of the spectrum here. So you're getting drift and you're getting noise. And what you ultimately want to do is cut out the noise, right? You want to adjust, for, correct for the drift. And in order to do that, you have to apply a high and or low pass filter to your data. So what's a high pass filter? A high pass filter means anything that's a higher frequency than what you stipulate is going to remain. A low pass is anything lower than a certain frequency that you stipulate is going to remain. So let's say you input, right? So on your instrument or in your post-processing software, they're gonna give you the ability to input some sort of, uh, um, you know, megahertz value, right? Some frequency value. So let's say you say, all right, high pass is gonna be, uh, you know, 250. Okay, for argument's sake, okay, 250 megahertz, and here's 250. So what happens is, all of this is gone from your data, because it's a high pass, everything above it passes. Now for your low pass, maybe you say, all right, I'll take everything that's, you know, uh, uh, 550, right? And the truth is this can actually range higher, and this can range lower. Um, but for argument, say 550 or say 600, okay, megahertz, 
So let's say over here is uh, 600. That means everything that is above it is gone because only below it is a low pass will uh, remain. So what do you have here, right? What are you left with? You're left with this range of frequencies that was produced by your GPR antenna, or at least that was taken in by your GPR antenna. This is what you have left. So when you apply a high pass, you're often trying to remove noise. When you apply a low pass, you're often trying to remove drift. And when you apply both together, it is often called a band pass. Okay, a band pass. Why? Because it's this band that passes. It's not higher than this number and lower than this number. It's between the two. So when you apply both the high and low filter, it's called often a band pass. It gives you a defined range of frequencies that you will take in. And uh, what, what tends to happen is you basically clean up your data by removing these pieces. And you'll often see almost a destriping vertically. These are called vertical filters. Okay. And basically filter your data ultimately in one dimension. So that's what a bandpass filter is. If you're ever wondering, you know, what it was, how you used it, why you would use it, what's the benefit to it, this is the benefit. You can remove drift and you can remove some noise from your data. However, it doesn't always help. Sometimes your data range is, you know, smaller anyway, and so there's a minimal effect. Sometimes it can blur your data, and it's something that you want to be aware of. So whenever you use any filter for any processing step, you always want to compare what you have before you apply the filter and what you have after you apply the filter to make sure that whatever you're doing actually enhances your interpretability. That's the ultimate goal of data processing. So I hope that this was helpful. If you liked the video, then please click the like button and share it around with somebody else who you think might benefit from this information. If you have not done so yet, subscribe to this YouTube channel. We're going to be putting out a ton more helpful, useful, educational, valuable videos in the next year. Now it's almost the end of 2016, but in 2017, we're going to be putting out a ton of other uh, uh, videos. We're going to be putting out videos of real data processing, you know, uh, uh, in real time. We're going to be putting out uh, interpretations of a variety of different things. We're going to do a whole lot more interviews. So subscribe to the channel and you will never miss uh, any of those videos and you will get notified whenever we uh, drop them. So thanks so much, have a great new year.